Hey guys, it's Rachel, and today we are making some emoji marshmallows. You guys might know that I really like making marshmallows. I think it's a really cool process. You basically whip up this hot sugar syrup, and it quadruples in size pretty much, and you just don't think about making homemade marshmallows that often. So when you actually make them, I just think it's really cool. And also, I'm sure you guys have noticed that emoji everything is so popular now, so I thought that'd be really cool to make a dessert inspired by them, and a very delicious one at that too. So. Let's get started. First off, in a large bowl, you're gonna need a half cup of water, then add in three packages of gelatin, and you can just find gelatin at the baking aisle in your grocery store. Then give that a quick mix, and then we're going to move over to a sauce pot. In here, you're gonna need a half cup of water, along with two cups of sugar, and a half cup of light corn syrup. Light corn syrup is not to be confused with high fructose corn syrup, which we all know is some pretty terrible stuff. Then finish it off with a half teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to pop in a candy thermometer. It isn't 100% necessary to have one, but it does take out any of the guesswork. You want to bring it to about 240 degrees Fahrenheit, or until it's boiled for about a minute or so. Then remove it from the heat, and then drizzle this down the side of your bowl and add it to the gelatin. Be super careful with this stuff. It is extremely hot, and if you get it on your skin, it is not going to feel good. Then you wanna gradually increase the speed of your mixer until you get to the highest speed. Then whip it for about eight to 10 minutes. At this point, you're gonna add in some of your yellow gel food coloring, and also a tablespoon of clear vanilla extract. Once that's all mixed through, you're going to pour this into your prepared pan. Here I have a 9 by 13 inch pan, and I just greased it with butter. Make sure you get every last bit out. Then I'm going to take my offset spatula and smooth out the super fluffy mass. This stuff is so cool, it is really fluffy, it's kind of like spreading out a cloud. Then we're going to dust over this mixture that is 1 half powdered sugar and 1 half cornstarch. Then let your marshmallows set for at least 6 hours, or even better, overnight. Once your marshmallows have set, go ahead and run a knife around the edge of your pan. Then dust your work surface with even more of that powdered sugar cornstarch mixture, just to make sure nothing sticks. And then as gracefully as you can, remove your marshmallows. I know this is kind of hard, it kind of just like plops down all at once, but just do your best. After dusting a little bit more powdered sugar on top, I'm just going to take a circle cookie cutter and start cutting out my marshmallows. Once you've cut out all of your circles, you'll be left with this really cool, kind of like modern art looking marshmallow sheet. I tried to think of something good to do with this, but the best thing I came up with was just like eating it. So if you have a better idea, leave it in the comments below. And now we can start to decorate. First, I'm gonna make the heart eyes emoji. This one is really easy. You're just gonna pop on two heart sprinkles and then create the mouth with some black royal icing. And I'll have the recipe for this in the description box below. Next up, I'm going to make the winking emoji. This is pretty easy. You're basically just drawing with icing, and if you need to practice on a sheet of wax paper, that can be really helpful too. Next up, I made the kind of like sheepish laughter emoji. This is definitely one of my most used emojis, along with the just plain smiley face emoji, which is kind of boring, I know, and then also the nervous face one. But I have to say my all-time favorite emoji has got to be the upside down happy face. I just love the expression. It's not something anyone ever really looks like, but it's kind of that expression of like, I don't really know what's happening right now, but I'm just going to smile anyways, and I just think it's so perfect. Anyways, next I guess I was really feeling the winky face emojis because I made one more here, except this one is the kissy face one. You're basically just going to continue decorating your marshmallows until you have all of your favorite emojis done. Alright guys, our emoji marshmallows are finished now, and these look super cute. Definitely a perfect gift to give out to your friends, you can surprise them. Maybe you could give them like the emoji that you think best describes them. But anyways though, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Kawaii Sweet Eats, on Facebook at Kawaii Sweet World, and of course subscribe right here for more cute recipes, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye guys!